Bonjour y'all! My name is Brita and I am the Pink Ravenclaw. Today I want to talk about one of the brand new Harry Potter experiences that witches and wizards can enjoy in multiple locations across the world. I am of course talking about the Yule Ball. This was announced during the Back to Hogwarts celebration and tickets are available now. But they are already selling out. Dan and I got our tickets during the pre-sale because I signed up for the waitlist online and the day and time that we have chosen is already sold out. So if you are picky about when you're going to the Yule Ball, you will want to book your tickets immediately. So what exactly is the Yule Ball? Where is the Yule Ball? When is the Yule Ball? Let's go over all of the details. So where exactly can you attend the Yule Ball celebration? This magical event will make its premiere in multiple cities worldwide, transforming beautiful historic venues in Milan, Mexico City, Montreal, and Houston later this year. I believe that more locations will eventually become available. If you are familiar with the Queen's Ball, a Bridgerton experience, then you have an idea of what the Yule Ball will probably be like. I say that because they are put on by the same organization, by Fever. And as you can see, the Queen's Ball is currently located in four cities, and it was previously in four different cities, which makes me think that the Yule Ball will also eventually be in more cities. However, the Queen's Ball is not a seasonal event, whereas the Yule Ball is a winter event. So it's possible that the Yule Ball will only be in four cities a year, and we'll have to wait until the 2023-2024 winter season for more cities to get the Yule Ball. When can you attend the you will ball celebration well that depends on where you attend it so remember at the beginning how i said that tickets were already selling out i was just looking at houston because that's where i'm going but for this video i pulled up the other locations and december and january in mexico city are already completely sold out there might be a wait list. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. But as you can see, December and January are completely sold out. You can't even navigate to that on the calendar here. And then in Milan, the first date available is November 11th. Um, and that the last day available is January 15th. And of course, the timing for all of this depends on the location as well as the day of the week. So a weekend day like Saturday is going to have more times available than a weekday would have. Then we have Montreal. The first date available is Friday, November 25th. Montreal goes through Sunday, January 15th. Then finally Houston starts Friday, November 18th, and then that one goes through Saturday, January 21st. Event, frequently asked questions. Of course, this Yule Ball is brand new, so we don't have any reviews from other people. However, like I said, the same company that produced the Queen's Ball Bridgerton experience is doing this, and reviews for that have been overall very positive. All right, what can I expect? Harry Potter, a Yule Ball celebration, is a spellbinding party where guests will be able to participate in iconic and beloved moments inspired by the magical stories and scenes from the Harry Potter film series. The experience features music, dancing, several Wizarding World elements, delicious treats, and much more celebrating the Yule Ball moment in a whimsical, elegant way. For Houston, where is the experience located? It will be at Parizo Maravilla, 
Y'all, I'm probably not pronouncing that right. But it's a pretty cool looking venue. I already looked it up. Uh, does the experience take place in an indoor or outdoor venue? It's an indoor venue. How long does the experience last? It's about two hours. Will there be dancing? Yes, but dancing is optional. Will there be interactions with the performers? Yes. Is there air conditioning? Yes, although it is taking place in the winter, but I guess it's Houston, so. Will food and beverage be available on site for purchase? Yes, it will be themed food and drinks. There will be alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages available. Are there vegan or gluten-free options available? Yes, but they will be limited. The website addresses many more questions. I will link to that in the description down below. What's most important are the questions regarding accessibility. And they have two ways for you to contact them in order to ask questions about accommodations that you might need. So there is a contact form where you can contact Fever Up through the website. There is also an email address where you can contact them directly. This is what you should do if you have any questions about ADA accessibility, if you are concerned about dietary restrictions, if you need a service animal, if you are concerned about availability of seating, all of those things can be accommodated, but you need to contact Fever Up in advance of your Ewell Ball experience just to make sure that they can accommodate you. How much do tickets cost? In American dollars, tickets start at $69. However, that is for the weekdays. The standard ticket on the weekend is $79. If you want the premium pack, which includes priority access entry, a complimentary drink, and a special Harry Potter gift, um, that costs $130 on the weekend and $125 on a weekday. Is there a dress code? There is not a mandatory dress code, but guests are encouraged to dress up. So whether that means dressing up in your best wizarding apparel or in fancy dresses, ball gowns, whatever you have, have fun with it. I will be wearing some sort of fancy dress, but also carrying a wand because obviously that is how the pink Ravenclaw rolls. What do you think about the Harry Potter Yule Ball? Do you plan on attending? And if so, what city? If you are unable to go, what city do you hope that it will go to next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. And if you want more Harry Potter content, subscribe to my channel. If you are still here, congratulations. I have another surprise giveaway. So the winner of this giveaway will get their choice of one of two items. So this is a Ron Weasley patch. And you can see it is in a little howler envelope. And the other option is Zonko's shoelaces. So to enter this surprise giveaway, just use the word sparkle in a comment. Make the comment normal, but use the word sparkle and I will choose a winner. Um, the previous giveaway winner is not eligible for this one, just to keep things fair. But you know, Jose, you can comment anyway. <laughs> Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. As always, keep reading and stay sparkly.